welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland and this is my stomach making a funny noise. So this is Let Me Bore You to Sleep. The world famous boring sessions, recordings, podcasts, whatever you want to call it. My stomach might make some noises because I'm hungry. That's it really. My stomach's hungry and I've just received my electric and gas bill for the month. And if I was going to use a word to describe my reaction when I saw the amount I need to pay them, hungry wouldn't be that word. So only watch or listen to this when you can safely close your eyes because you know the just something I say every time I make a session you think it'd be kind of obvious really I can't imagine would there be anybody that would actually be driving you know in a car all the people that he loves in the back, his children, his wife or husband sitting next to him, thinking, I know what I'll do, listen to an audio called Let Me Bore You to Sleep. probably in all fairness I think that even if I didn't say please close your eyes not close your eyes please only listen or watch when you can safely close your eyes I think because of the title pretty much uh, I think I'm covered And it's supposed to, the only way to have a better title really would be to call it Only Listen to This When You Can Safely Close Your Eyes. That could be the actual title of the audio, the recording, which would be, I don't know, maybe it's okay, but I don't, I'm not feeling any kind of twinges of excitement. if I'm honest <sighs> so there's an obvious point to these sessions, but there's a there's another point to it. I'm going to talk about neuroplasticity, <laughs> which you probably didn't think I was going to be discussing. Well, there's probably lots of things you didn't expect me to discuss. 
the breeding habits of a mongoose. That'd probably be something that you'd think about. Uh, oh, be a bit surprised. How many pairs of underwear could you could you actually wear on top of one another? Before you finally got kicked out of the clothes store or got arrested. So yeah, I don't know, it's there's lots of different things I could be not talking about or talking about or you might not think I'm talking about or things that you might think I would talk about or be surprised that oh, I can't believe he's talking about that but at the same time nothing really should surprise any of us you know I had some strange dreams last night trying to figure them out but I'm not going to talk about my dreams here but otherwise I have to change the title to let me bore you to sleep whilst talking about my dreams and mind you if I did that then I guess I'd have to change the title every time I did a session which I don't want to do because it just takes energy trying to think up you know a title to something because I don't know what I'm going to say I don't know what I'm going to do all I know is that my neck is feeling better than it did Yesterday, my neck, the back of my neck, really, really. Was it yesterday or the day before? Oh, I can't remember. My days are just so exciting. I just lose track of what's going on. <laughs> Neuroplasticity is the topic of part of this thingy it's a way to explain what I'm doing I could put it in simple terms in fact that's the only way I can put it in because I don't actually understand what it is in fact maybe not understanding what it is means that I possibly can't put it in simple terms because I think that sometimes the situation is you know when someone explains something to you and it sounds so complicated you start to think that maybe they don't know what they're talking about <laughs> you know you talk about hypnosis for example it's full of There's lots of details to, about hypnosis that can't be included in a uh, basic description. Lots of things that can't be included. Um, but you could break it down. I've set myself a task here because now I'm going to make it all complicated. Hypnosis really is just it's a focus of attention. And expectation. You know, uh, or has someone said before, 
not here or anywhere else, but someone, um, I forget his name, it's a book I read. Oh no, it's, um, Dave, Dave something, who wrote a book called Hypnotherapy. It's uh, expect it to happen. No, want it to happen. Expect it to happen. Let it happen. It's kind of uh, those things. So, want something to happen. Expect it to happen. And open your mind, open your heart. Allow it to happen. So there's those three, you need to want something to happen first. Really want it. So it's about strengthening that want. So if you think, if you see a, a stage hypnotist and they might lay a member of the audience on two chairs, just two chairs standing up, they might tell that person you're as strong as a board, you're as strong as metal, as strong as wood. And you might be thinking, why metal or wood? Which one? Metal's stronger. Mind you, not all metal's strong, is it? Some, str some metal breaks really easy, but anyway, probably you wouldn't think that way. It says you're as strong as the hardest wood in the world. Woody wood wood. And then the, the hypnotist would stand on the person's stomach and they would be supported. I mean, when they would tell them, oh, I should go back a little bit, when the saying to the, the, the audience member, you're as strong as wood and you're whatever. They'd get, the hypnotist would get help. So that person would be lying on the floor and then they would pick them up. A few people would pick that person up and then place them on top of the two chairs, which shouldn't really support that person. But they're so straight and rigid And that's what it is. If you think of the word rigid, 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 it's a very inflexible, stuck, rigid, inflexible, stuck. Those words, those words which we might think of as being negative in some ways but are also really useful, positive words when it's about change. So if you, if you want to be, let's think about it. You want to change something but how you feel. Or you want to feel a certain way. Uh, confident on stage, for example. Confident in a, on a bus. Not in the same way, obviously. I don't think you should start tap dancing on a bus. But or you want to be able to the ideas are endless whatever it is for you you want to um, sleep at night for example I guess that's a good example for this session you want to sleep at night 
or you want to sleep it might be during the day whatever time you decide to sleep so it could be a case of whenever you lay down put your head on your pillow that is the trigger the cue permission for you to just go to sleep So you must, uh, must, ideally you would desire that, want it. And some people do say, oh yeah, I want it. But it's not just, yeah, I want to watch the telly, I want to watch a movie. This has got to be at the same level as somebody that is absolutely obsessed with Star Wars or absolutely obsessed with the new iPhone and will queue for days outside an iPhone shop, iStore, whatever they're called, to get the iPhone. Or a fan of I'm trying to think of any singer you know it could be a fan of Little Mix or it could be a fan of One Direction although they're split up now but a fan of Michael Bublé or a fan oh it's a um What's that? All the single ladies? All the single ladies. What's her name? But just you get the idea. A fan who is such a big fan that they will travel across the world to see that person's concerts. But not just that. They will travel and they will see as many of the concerts that they can so Little Mix might be on a world tour and this person may travel to all of the countries of the European tour European part of the world tour Hungary, France, Germany, Russia, I'm not sure about Russia, but uh, I'm not sure if Russia has concerts, but you know, just all the different various countries through Europe, Greece, England, Ireland, at somebody who really wants to see a little mix. That's at the level, that type of level is what you need. Really, with hypnosis. I know it's, it's an ask, I realize that. If you had that level think the, the things you could achieve would be endless but you see the point I don't necessarily think that any anybody many people would have that level of I mean that would be a need there's, there's more potentially some psychological issues going on there I don't know but that's a, you know that's a super fan and good on them you know my philosophy in life is do do what makes you happy a lot you know as long as it's not hurting other people or yourself do what makes you happy 
enjoy your life, enjoy stuff. You know, and I don't think it's about making happy memories for me personally. It's about making happy presence. It's about experiencing it. Experience. It's about being kind to yourself. So you got that level of want, need. In fact, when it comes to sleeping, nothing can hold you back from sleeping now because you've got that. And you expect. You need to expect yourself to just drift to sleep easily and naturally whenever your head touches the pillow. And you expect in the same way as the person that wants to go to all of the 16 concerts in Europe for Little Mix. Which is a girl band, a girl group, who are very big in in the world. So the expect to go. in some ways is quite easy because that person would have bought the tickets but once you bought the tickets to go to those concerts you expect to go also that person may have gone to see a little mix before in their last world tour or their last European tour, UK tour, they bought tickets before and when they bought the tickets they knew then that they were going to go to the concert so they know that it's going to happen so that expected to happen is not based on hope it's based on fact it's based on previous experience it's based on it's going to happen it doesn't get questioned there are no question marks anywhere near the expected to happen expect to sleep whenever you put your head on the pillow so the want the need the want and the need is actually the most important part because that's what leads to the expect and that expect is the post the big post that holds up the ceiling immovable static fixed Rigid, the words we used earlier, rigid, stuck, unmovable, or immovable. The 
which then leads to allow it to happen, let it happen. And in a way, you don't even need to do that, it just happens. I think the point of allow it to happen is like a tester. like a loop test maybe I don't mean a hula hoop it's like a, a tester to make sure that all the other parts are in place when you think about allowing it to happen or letting it happen you can feel a comfort within you, the self-assuredness, confidence that actually a change has been made. And that's what hypnosis is. There's the testing of it, but the testing happens, you know, when you're ready to fall asleep. And there's the additional bit which is something that you do. Is the more you do it, the easier and more natural it becomes. It's a behavior that you're learning. And it's not just that. Going back to neuroplasticity. I can't believe how well organized this session is. Considering I'm just making it all up. Well, not making it up, but you know, just ad-libbing as it were neuroplasticity the study of the brain the study of the activity in the brain so when you focus when you keep doing something it changes your brain it changes how you think changes how you see the world, how you experience yourself. means we can pretty much make these changes we want with our behavior focusing on a thing a specific thing our brain creates neurons or whatever things they're called in the brain it creates, creates more of those things so the more you focus on 
For example, the more you focus on the things that you've done in the past which have helped other people, and the idea that there's going to be things that you're never going to know about how you've helped other someone. You know, just could be as simple as helping someone onto the bus. It could be as simple as a smile, a hello. Um, and that could have made a difference to that person's day, which then made a difference to their week, which then made a difference to their year. So we, we're not ever going to be aware of all that stuff. And it can be quite nice to focus the mind on the benefit that you've had on other people's lives. And the more you focus on that, the more you focus on that, the more your brain develops. Because the brain is constantly developing and changing all the time. All the time. Even during illnesses, it's developing in a different way maybe, but it's still changing and developing. When you think about it, someone that maybe has had a brain injury or a stroke, and have lost the, the use of maybe can't walk anymore or can't you know half their body's not working they manage to with therapy with physical therapy they manage to activate a different part of their body causing different networks in their brain so that a different part of their body controls that part so instead of the left side of the body controlling the right side the, the left side of the brain controlling the right side of the body the right side of the brain controlling the left side of the body start using a different part of the brain to control the right hand or the left hand which just shows that our brain is so flexible, way more flexible than we're ever going to know, ever. But wouldn't it be interesting to find out? So we're sleeping. Is that focusing? focus expecting it to happen expectation is powerful beyond belief in fact expectation that's already quite a good term it is more powerful than belief and let's face it nothing's more powerful than belief expectation is generally you expect something to happen you don't need to do ceremonies don't need to read books and study scripture or um, live a certain way expectation is something that bypasses all that stuff stronger than belief in some ways because there's no question in it you expect it once you expect something to happen you're pretty much rigid to it which means we need to be careful what we expect to happen. Oh, 
been talking for 35 minutes. Sorry if this wasn't as boring as usual. You know, I, I want to focus on the sleep part of things as well. It's okay to bore you and and if it's relaxing and you know but at the same time my intention is for you to sleep maybe not during the session but definitely whenever you lay your head onto your pillow at night or daytime or wherever it is that you wish to sleep or that you expect to sleep and that's the focus that's the repetition that's where the energy goes the energy on expecting it to happen that rigid massive rigid boulder or some kind of big I don't know what you want to call it something that's holding the roof up something that's supporting the entire roof it's so strong it allows everything else to happen it's a kind of strength that will last thousands of years and also don't forget the the power of wanting something not just from a greed perspective so I guess there's a greed greediness within that but for me greediness would be more wanting more than You know, want it more than you can use. So if you're queuing for an iPhone, greed would be wanting to buy 10 iPhones. You can't use 10 iPhones. So someone queuing for an iPhone, or someone queuing to get into a concert, or to buy tickets for a concert, Or, you know, that's somebody that really wants that thing. Really, really, really wants that to happen. At the same time, they expect it. Someone's queuing for an iPhone for two days. They really, no one wants that iPhone more than them. They really want that iPhone. They expect to get it. They expect the doors to open at six o'clock in the morning, whatever time that the store opens. They expect that to happen. There's no doubt in their mind that that will happen. And they expect to be seventh in the queue or the seventh person to buy an iPhone in London or in. Germany or in New York, wherever you are, because they're queuing and they see there's six people ahead of them. And they're just maybe sitting down on a deck chair and they're allowing it to happen. They're giving themselves permission. 
for this process to continue. And that expectation is not only based on the power of the want, they expect those doors to open and for them to walk in and to buy, purchase that item, the iPhone in this example. And that expectation isn't only based on you know what should happen it's based on what has happened because guaranteed anyone that queues up for an iPhone for two days has probably done it before they know that the door will open they know that they will go in and they know that that feeling of accomplishment that feeling of probably ecstasy is the reason is the payback to have that iPhone in their hand that new shiny thingy in their hand and they know how they're going to feel because they've rehearsed it in their mind and also in their body they've rehearsed it over and over and over and over and over again thousands and thousands of times so someone could hand them a box an iPhone box and they could be it could be full of rabbit poo honestly lots of rabbit droppings and that person would still feel the same ecstasy and happiness and high until they open a the box of course and see that there's no phone but the point is there they've rehearsed it and they're going to feel that feeling in the same way that you can rehearse in your mind the sense of just drifting asleep when your head touches the pillow I remember a couple of years ago so someone was queuing up for a, the latest phone I think it was an iPhone, it might have been another one. And uh, there was all cameras and film crews and filming them. I think he was one of the first people to get it. And he opened up the box up and he tripped and it fell on the floor. Yeah, it was funny. So that's it for me for today. I hope you're well and I will see you next time which may be tomorrow. All being well. Take care and if you like what I do please visit jasonnewland.com and leave a testimonial. Take care of yourselves. Bye.